today we have a service call on a package unit um, ran by an energy management system or EMS uh, the restaurant was complaining of a warm dining room uh, the EMS has been called and uh, they had shut off the unit before we arrived so we just called them had them turn the unit back on and now we're gonna check out the unit so you know first things first visual inspection of the condenser you know it doesn't look bad but we'll have to uh, check to see if the inner coil because this one's a double road coil so you have to split it to clean it so we'll check to see if that's dirty first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on some service gauges and check it out this looks like a 15 ton unit yeah, 180,000 BTU, so it's a 15 ton. Another thing, I had already opened this up. You guys can see there's a bunch of oil spray all over this pressure control. Sorry. And all over the head of the compressor, so I'll have to look into that too. See if maybe we have a leak or if that's just spray from someone taking their gauges off. So far, nothing's jumping out at me, but, well, I shouldn't say that. There is something jumping out at me. I just tested Y1 to common, and it has 24 volts. I tested Y2 to common, and it doesn't have anything. My second stage compressor's running, my first stage compressor isn't. So, I gotta check and see if this has a lead lag set up in it, where it swaps the compressors. Sometimes I have seen that. But if it doesn't, then that's a little strange to me. There we are, it's a crack discharge line. Now my experience with crack discharge lines is it's usually caused by a bad compressor. Uh, bad vibration in the compressor or something is usually what it is. That guy's bubbling real good. So again, I haven't even put my gauges on this. I just saw oil on the lines and said, hey, what the heck, let me look into that real quick. So I've spent 15 minutes, dude. You know, I, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time, just 15 minutes, found that the discharge line's cracked. So, but I'm gonna keep diagnosing this unit. I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gauges on both stages, try to figure out why that second stage was running and the first stage wasn't. So our head pressure's climbing through the roof. This fan motor appears to be spinning backwards. This one's spinning the right way feel the heat radiating and this one I don't feel very much heat and the condenser is hotter than shit. After I put my gauges on there I could definitely see that there was something going on with the first stage compressor. The head pressure was skyrocketing. I found that the second stage condenser fan motor had a bad run cap. Went ahead and replaced that and then the system pressure stabilized out. Definitely can tell that the second stage is low on gas but this will get them going for now. Okay, so we ended up having a bad uh, run capacitor for the condenser fan motor. And we, as you see in my uh, display or my pressure readings that I show up on the screen, the um, refrigerant pressures are kind of low in both of the systems, but definitely low on the second stage. Um, I'm not gonna put any gas in it right now because this is R22. We're gonna talk to the customer, give them some quotes and see what they wanna do, repair versus fix. Um, at a minimum, I'm gonna change that condenser fan motor. Uh, even though it was just the capacitor, uh, this is so far away from us, and uh, you know, I, I just like to be extra cautious. So we're gonna change the condenser fan motor, blade, capacitor, and then at a minimum, we're gonna fix the leak in the discharge line of the second stage and then recharge the unit. But I'm gonna recommend that we replace the compressor because of the vibration that it kinda has. Um, 
and then when we do that we'll split this coil and clean it and that's pretty much it